Hello, afternoon. I'm getting on before um, this afternoon kicks off the most stressful day in the household here because Mr. Average is Welsh. Uh, and so, um, yes, the, yes, I won't say any more. Um, so, uh, day six of our children's week, and today is a sequel. So, um, we read uh, the Baker Family Book One. Um, and we reviewed that in the last Children's Week, so I'll add a link so you can go and have a look. So it's the same dog uh, and the same family, somewhat older. Um, and in this book, it's a slightly bigger book, um, still just as um, accessible, and still these really fabulous illustrations through it. So it, the chapters are totally uh, doable. Um, so my eight-year-old daughter, th this is uh, one of her favourite series at the moment, um, she's really looking forward to book three. This book is a lot more involved. I, that's how we felt about it. So the first story was um, uh, fairly simple. They they found the dog. The dog was from a not nice owner, and a little sort of scenario played out. But this book is quite has a quite um, a complex plot, which she loved. She she liked having that feeling more grown up that she was sort of being. Um, uh, you know that she could handle it I suppose that that she could have so so um they find out that they're going to a castle for the weekend um uh and and there are clues to find and they have to kind of outwit this big um uh situation that's happening there these thieves um so it's lovely because it's it's quite tense there's danger and suspense um but it's children's fiction. It's just that lovely mix of, um, of kind of being with a child when they're, you know, when they're kind of nervous. You know, they're reading nervously. It's it's lovely. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I particularly like that there is suspense and that there is a plot. Um, it's not in any way dumbing down to children. Um, some of the language, uh, I don't mean as in bad language. I mean some of the words were uh, quite difficult quite challenging and um so we've tried to just encourage our children to kind of read through them if you know what i mean if if you really can't under if it affects your understanding of the story then come and ask us and we'll look it up but kind of read through and if, and, and sometimes words you know you can get the meaning for, for in other ways um and a couple of the um names she struggled with so there's a mr beauchamp which is an unusual word, um, and it's Ulrich, but I, but I liked that because that made her think about sounds and letters, um, and as usual, the English language is not an easy one to grasp, so um, there were a few times we did have to look words up, and I'm all for that. I don't want it every five seconds, um, but I think once or twice in a chapter, that's quite nice to find a new word and learn it and then move on. Um, so we loved it. We're hoping um, that Justin uh, works on... Um, Book three, as soon as possible. So it's Spy Danger, and it's by Justin Davis, and it's the second book.